Um, oh my god. Hey, what's going on, fellow explorers, stone enthusiasts, and hopefully garlic growing enthusiasts? This is going to be season two of my garlic growing series. We're going to be heading over to uh, my garlic preparation over there pretty soon, but I just want to give a quick description of what type of garlic I'm growing. It's, it's soft neck. It is Transylvania soft neck garlic, as you can see here. I ordered, I, I have about 12 bulbs. I believe I gave one away to uh, one of my wife's relatives to see if he could grow his own. But yeah, um, I'm really excited to share with you my technique. I was really successful last year. And uh, let's um, head on over to the garden and show you how I was successful in North Carolina, Central North Carolina zone, growing zone 7B. Let's get to it. Let's make our way to the garden area. So yeah, last year, first season, it was on my other channel, uh, Silver Wolves. It's dedicated to stacking silver and gold for alternative form of savings. I'm into that type of stuff, but I decided to put it on this channel. Um, this was the bed that I was very successful with. Um, I was growing carrots in that bed, but I decided this year, you know what? I want to go big time because I was so successful and garlic is very easy to grow if you kind of figure out if you know what you're doing. So I got another bed here. So that's two, three, four, five, and six, six beds. Got to figure out how I'm going to, how much garlic uh, cloves I'm going to plant in each bed. Um, so let me come over here. I'm using potting mix. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I used this last year. It works great. I also used a little bit of raised bed soil, mixed it in. Not much. But enough just to satisfy my curiosity to see if um, that might improve the garlic this year. But again, it, I, I was very impressed last year. I'm going to show a picture here right now of, of what the bulbs looked like. They were actually bigger than the ones I, uh, like, like I received in the mail from Gurney's. That's uh, Gurney's Nursery. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I saved this last bed. I'm going to show you how I mix the bone meal with the soil. It is again October 29th. I don't plan on putting the cloves in today but I plan on doing it on October 31st, Halloween. Uh, why not? It's Transylvania garlic. Gotta stick with the theme, right guys? I did it last year. Hopefully, um, let's have it. I'm going big time this year. I'm gonna have it hopefully at least 100 cloves and uh, see where it goes. So hang on. So garlic is a root is a root vegetable and our fruit vegetables, root vegetables. So you want to use potassium. And I felt that was the major contributor contributor to um, successful uh, garlic last year. So I can see this. I used uh, not this particular brand, I can't remember, but this is the brand I'm using this year. Powdery. Uh, some people use uh, little pellets that break down over time but what I did last year was I originally put um, the bone meal in first uh, and then come springtime I put a little, little bit more so I'm, I'm going to repeat that process this year so what I do is I usually take a little handful like this and if you can see that in the camera and just go back and forth Spread it out evenly. And what I'm going to do after this is mix it in. I'm not going to put it too deep because um, I rely on the rain and water to let it sink down. But the goal is to allow the roots to, to develop before it really starts getting cold. Um, here in North Carolina, it doesn't really get that much below freezing 32 degrees it does you know February might get into the 20s here and there 
This year is going to be unique though. I heard it's going to be really cold this year because of the El Nino. And so from here, all I do is just start mixing it in. You want to hold your breath when you do this. You don't want to really breathe this in. It does taste kind of good though. It definitely tastes like bone. So after I'm done with this, you know, I'm just going to let it, I'm not going to water it today. Um, Tuesday is October 31st. It's supposed to rain. So I'm going to plant them in. I'm going to decide how many clothes for each bed. I did 27 in the, um, the bed that I showed you earlier. I did 27 clothes. All 27 did quite, again, quite well. And, and that's why I'm going, again, big time this year. I planted potatoes, carrots last year, did some onions. Had a tough time. Um, don't want to go down that path again so I'm just gonna stick with something that works for me it's something simple because if you're watching this channel you know that I'm into uh, interesting ancient stone sites and so forth interesting rock structures um, there's a place there's a location about almost two hours from me it's called Uwari National Forest more specifically um, you, uh, Burkhead Mountain Wilderness, which is part of the Uwari National Forest area. Uh, more about that in a future video. I'm going to be doing um, some camping tomorrow, testing out equipment that I bought uh, as a test. I want to. Um, they have what's called dispersed camping, where you could pretty much just walk into the forest and camp anywhere. They do have designated areas, but I love going off trail. I'm going to bring my, my good companion Bo with me. It's going to be a solo camp, well technically solo. <laughs> if you camp dog, I don't know. But yeah, it's very interesting and I hope you stay tuned because it's one of the, it, it's, it's considered the oldest forest in, on the North American continent. It, it was the first mountains in the Appalachian chain of mountains. And yeah, I wanna, I, I wanna share that experience with you guys. I'm gonna be really excited to walk on the oldest forest on the North American continent. So yeah, this is, um, so this is gonna be, this is part one. I'm um, gonna continue to give you guys up, like, like uh, show you the progress as the season continues and um, give you a little bit more information on if you live in zone 7b what might be six uh, like, like, uh, tips and tricks that might work for you if you want to go ahead and grow some garlic thanks for stopping by silver wolves out